Mm -hmm. This just in, big news out of Boston. Steve's wife got a new job and they're moving. What's up everyone? So, as I just said, big news, I'm moving. And so I got a standing desk for the new place. The place that we're in now, I couldn't get one because all of our walls are like angled like this because we're on the top floor. So standing desk, things that move up and down, it's just not gonna happen. So went on Amazon and picked up this one from a brand called Forexon. And it was delivered like this. I think I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> no. So today, I basically found stair treads that were the same size as this. And I'm going to re be replacing this piece of crap for mica top with, uh, you know, an MDF core with actual legit wood. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take this POS and turn it into a nice ass desktop. So I'll bring you along. If you look at the top here, this is a total of 47 and a half inches long by 23 and a half inches wide. And if you can tell, there's a lot of these threaded inserts all over the place. So I'm going to be using or reusing these. Also, I'm debating keeping this as the location for the hole. Um, now the stair treads I got were 11 and a half inches wide, so they're just a little bit more narrow than this, but I also got an insert for the middle. So what I'm going to do is use this gap area that doesn't have the threaded inserts on it, and I'm going to pocket hole jig in. Well, if you look at this, you know, it's a bunch of solid oak, and you know, the pieces aren't fantastic uh, joining wise, but at the same time, this little hand planing will help take care of, you know, these are relatively straight, relatively sanded. So it's not really gonna take a ton of effort to get this into being a really nice piece. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm cutting down uh, the board so that this is going to be the width that I want. I'm just taking my hand plane, cutting down any high spots. Um, you know, sometimes you get these from uh, your circular saw and then I'm just drilling the pilot holes for the pocket jig and just loosely putting the screws in obviously you could tell that I'm getting them uh, most of the way there but not cinching them down too tight and then here I'm measuring out basically the final length of the desk and using this simple jig of a level um, which I use for a straight edge and a couple of clamps to just guide my circular saw and make sure that I keep my cut straight um, obviously, you can see that the wood got a little wet. I went through a little rain squall here where I had to basically stuff everything in the back of my car. But, you know, we make do. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is just make sure that this is tight down to the table. And um, I'm going to use the router to follow the original roundover pattern uh, that was on the original desktop. Um, obviously, this... Uh, the stair treads. I don't want to freehand a round over um, and a curve on the side, so I'm just using uh, the old desktop to kind of follow it along. Um, and then here you could tell I'm using a round over bit to just make sure uh, that my round overs are, are nice and even all the way around. Uh, these this desktop or these uh, stair treads came with a round over, so I'm just making sure that that's consistent all the way around, so you don't have sharp edges. Now here I'm using the hole for. Uh, the original desktop and I just used a Forstner bit and a router to cut the initial hole and I'm using the old uh, desktop as a template just to make sure that my cuts are even and that I can use the plug that actually came with the set. Now if you look at the desktop you could tell that uh, I have uh, pencil markings all over the top of it and it, that was just to make sure once the pencil markings are gone at least I know at that point for that grit that my sanding is uh, consistent across the entire top. Then here, um, I'm taking these threaded inserts out and basically what I'm going to use is uh, the old desktop as a template to put screws into the new desktop. Um, and basically how I do this is I take the threaded inserts out and uh, I use a quarter inch drill bit to drill all the way through the old desktop into a little bit of the new desktop. Um, and this way I can make sure that the holes align up so that when I put the frame on for the actual desktop that it's going to line up perfectly and I'm not going to have uh, to play the guessing game to see 
um, where those holes should actually go. Now here I'm just taking the threaded inserts and putting them in. Uh, these were kind of cheap zinc ones, so uh, a couple of them split as you could see on the left, but I just had to put them in a little bit more gently and not try to tighten them down so much. I just don't know if they were made for hardwood. And then finally, um, I just did a couple passes with the sander with a, a higher grit just to make sure that, you know, I'm working on this every day, so I want to make sure that I have a nice smooth top. Um, and then I'm going to uh, finish this with polyurethane um, and just do a few coats of that just to make sure that I have at least a bit of durability when it comes to water and putting things on top. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this and I will see you guys next time.